Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Earthrise Smokescreen. This decal set includes four decal sheets, one on foil backing, and three on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Smokescreen, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, smoke screen looks really good and very cartoon accurate. Taking a closer look at the figure, great paint applications there on the face. He has green eyes, a yellow crest, white face paint, Nice Autobot logo right there on the chest, and I got a paint scuff right there. Yep, that's scuff paint. That's disappointing. He's got tinted black headlights there on the chest, a painted in grill right there. Let's see, the wings. He has an 80. Now, in the original Generation 1 uh, figure, that was an 83. I think that was an 83 on the cartoon as well. So, I do believe there's a decal that's going to take care of that. Moving on down the figure, lots of great uh, sculpted detail. Down here on the legs, he's got that blasted translucent plastic, but with smokescreen, it's not too bad because that is tinted black. Moving on down to the feet, lots of detail, but no real coloring or paint applications whatsoever. So all in all, robot mode does not look bad at all, but could definitely use some help. So there's one final look at smokescreen in robot mode before. And after. Smokescreen gets quite a few decals to enhance his robot mode. Starting here at the head, he gets new decals right there on his yellow crest to give them kind of a chrome shiny look. Here on the chest, all kinds of new decals. He gets an extra pinstripe that goes right here along the front, along with quite a few sponsor logos that really carry over great in vehicle mode. His Autobot logo is still present and accounted for, and I'll go over that more here in a bit as well. Onto the shoulders, he has new blue decals with some yellow accents and a little tiny blue decal right there. Along the wings, he has new pinstriping, sponsorship decals, and a new 38. Moving on down to the waist, he gets a green and yellow decal there on the stomach, a little tiny triangle decal right there on the belt buckle, and green decals on the hips. Moving on down on the shins, we have new decals that cover up that translucent plastic, and I love that. That looks great. On the inside of the legs, we have decals right there with some circuitry details. Moving on down to the feet, the feet get a great overhaul, but we'll go into that more in vehicle mode. That looks really good now. And he also has new decals right there along the shins that also carry over well into vehicle mode. So there you go, guys. Smoke screen in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, smoke screen looks great and very true to his Generation 1 self aside from the big 80 here on the door. Now the paint scuff that was right here on the hood, I was able to get that off. That wasn't in the paint, so I'm pretty happy with that. I hate the wheel clips. I think that looks terrible. I know there are third-party options to cover those up, and I may have to look into a set. Now details look great. He's got the white pinstriping all along. Details there on the grill that carry over from robot mode. I mean, this guy looks awesome. The back is a little plain, though, and can really use some help. Great sculpting, but looks a little bland. Now, 
He's got those blasted translucent windows that I cannot stand, especially when you see all the robot junk through them. I mean, granted, his are tinted, so he's got a smoky haze to his windows, but still, you can make out the robot parts on the inside. So there you go, guys. One final look at smokescreen in vehicle mode before and after. And vehicle mode is where this decal set really shines. Now, the first decals you're probably noticing is the new decals here for the windshield. And I love how they added the silhouette of a steering wheel right there. That looks really cool. Also, new window decals here on the side. And the driver's side actually gets an optional decal for safety netting. I really like how that looks. Then, of course, we've got the window decals here on the back. Front of the vehicle, up here on the hood, you have the option to put a 38 or an 83. I actually had 83 on here first until I pulled up the G1 images for the earlier video segment. And uh, how this is really supposed to work, according to Toy Hacks' instructions, is the 38 is supposed to be down here covering up the Autobot logo. I didn't like how that looked. So what I did is I put the 38 logo right here on top of this thing. I'm not a car guy. I'm not sure what that is. I put the 38 on top of this and then put the RR logo over that. So you have to put one on, then the other. Along the side of the vehicle, you've got all the sponsor decals, which look really good. And he gets new pinstriping. This white pinstriping goes all along the side of the vehicle. New striping here along the front and blue striping right there as well. And we went over all that in robot mode. There's also decals right here on the side. You have some options. I went with Gambler. You also have, let's see here, Don Devendorf and Goodyear. But I went with the Gambler, a nice throwback to that original G1 cartoon. Let's see, back of the vehicle, we've got taillights and taillights right up here under the spoiler. And he has a license plate now that says Smokescreen. There is options for that as well. You have, let's see if I can focus in, 2800ZX and 2800ZX, but I went with smokescreen. So all in all, a great look for this vehicle now. Also, new decals right up here, adding to the pinstriping along the top. So smokescreen looks fantastic. So there you go, guys. One final look at smokescreen in vehicle mode after. <laughs> Toy Hacks did a great job with this decal set for Earthrise Smokescreen. Both modes, robot and vehicle, benefit greatly from all the added details, and I think the guy looks great. He's a wonderful combination of the Generation 1 toy and his cartoon counterpart. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to my newest Patreon, JM Autobot. Thank you so much for the support. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!